Oi, oi, seven loy. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's another fantastic day. Um, excited to be alive, excited to be in the space of Bitcoin and the crypto market. We are 20 days, 24, no, 24, 25 days away from the Bitcoin halving um, and uh, things are getting exciting. So before I dive in it, dive into talking about the Bitcoin halving, um, as you can see, I haven't got my studies on. What's happened? We're back raining, yay, England, we gotta love it. <laughs> It's miserable, it's wet, it's cold, but we, we're still smiling, it's still good. We keep positive, I think I'll have a door properly. Right, that's better. So, um, I hope you're all doing well. Thanks again for the new subscribers, really, really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, keep liking the channel, keep subscribing, uh, do all the uh, awesome stuff, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the last video. Uh, something to very much think about, um, I think it's very important. But talking, um, well, quick update on the one dollar day Bitcoin challenge. If you're new to the video, it's something I am doing, and I'm encouraging you to do the same one dollar a day just to dip your toes into it if you've not uh, invested in Bitcoin before, or even if you have, but you've only done it slightly, but been out of it and come back in. Just start dipping your toes, guys. It's going to help massively. I'm going to talk about the, uh, the challenge, why I'm doing it a bit more and uh, I'll let you know how much associates I got at the end of the video, so keep tuned for that. So today, guys, um, I was just thinking about it. I was thinking, you know, wow, we, you know, we're back at price of 70,700, roughly 70,600. You know, there's obviously a bit of resistance around these sort of levels. And, you know, we're up and down a little bit. You know, we're basically just, you know, um, we're in the range, as they say, we're in the range and at some point it's going to break out, no doubt. The, what's unbelievable, and we've got to keep this into context, is you know we are not even at the halving yet, and we have already broken all-time highs. This has never happened before, it's phenomenal. Um, the halving is expected to be in 24, 25 days. Interestingly enough, that looks as though that's going to be around about, I think I did check it, around about 20th of, um, what are we in, what are we in, we're in March, aren't we? April. I don't know. So much going on. So much going on. And uh, yeah, around right about 20th of April, possibly, which is a weekend. So that's quite nice, I think. You know, hopefully, you might not be working at the weekend, and maybe you'll organise with a few friends a little Bitcoin halving party. I think I might look into doing something like that. Might be quite fun. See who is local in the community, and you know, maybe put a little. Uh, Eventbrite event out, see if any secret Bitcoiners come out from under the woodwork and show their faces. <laughs> so yeah, so it's really, it's getting close to the halving. And for those of you who don't know the significance of it, it's basically the point where the rewards from mining Bitcoin are halved. And this happens every four years, and it's the four year cycle that we talk about. So what does this mean? Ultimately, it's about the supply being reduced. When supply is reduced and the demand is the same, the price goes up. But of course, we you know demand also increases at the heart of it because people start to get interested in the game or start hearing about Bitcoin in the game. And inevitably, price will go up even if everything stays the same because supply has been reduced. But the weird thing about price going up, it has a marketing effect. You know, people start hearing about it, start hearing the news, mainstream media start talking about it more. You hear about more and more adoption as we keep talking about in the previous videos. And people are sort of drawn to it like a, a bee to a honeypot, as they say. <laughs> That's quite a good analogy, isn't it? So yeah, guys, it's a really exciting time. And uh, yeah, just just keep stacking those sats, guys. You know, we have got no idea what's going to happen with the price. You know, we talk about these fun videos where, you know, my expectation is 250k, but on the horizon, I'm not going to be that surprised if it hits a million. You know, it sounds mad, and I've talked about this already in my videos. The thing is, I'm not, and I think it's important for you guys to think about this as well, is not to be maybe fixated on a particular price, 
again, if you're in it for the long term, just to say, price is irrelevant to this period of time. You know, what does it matter what price it is in six months, a year, a week, a day, two years? You know, if you're if you're putting money away and you're going to forget about it for you know five, ten years, maybe longer, the longer the better. I wouldn't even bother watching these videos to be honest with you. I'll just tune out, get on with your life, enjoy your life, just keep stacking, and uh, yeah, just. It's probably a good idea just to keep an eye, you know, an eye on the market. You know, keep your toe dipped in just to be aware of what's happening. To be fair, and the nice thing is, it's much less stressful. Now, where was I going? So I was going back to the price, wasn't I? I was talking about the price, you know, and of course, the, the, you know, there's the risk of you get out, you know, you know, there's, I'm sure there's going to be a huge sell-off when people when, when we hit 100,000. There's no doubt that a psychological barrier. Will make people, you know, sort of go crazy. People take profit. People can't probably imagine they'll go over 100. So there's going to be a, probably a bit of resistance there. But I think once we break that, then you know the sky is the limit. Now, go back to the price point. Is I don't think it's sensible to have a particular price point that you're totally focused on and that you're either hoping for and you're not going to sell unless it hits it, or indeed, you know. You, you, just, you just you know, have a price that you think that's it. The, I think it's sensible just to have an idea of where it could be, but be flexible to events, to the realities of a curveball from being thrown into the mix. These things happen in life. As we know, we get, life has a habit of when things go well, we tend to get a slap in the face. And we love a good slap in the face. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, just be conscious. You know, it might not reach your expected figures. It might not. It might. You know, it might not reach a hundred thousand. You might be all over egging it massively, and are then massively sort of disappointed, or or you know, or we're we're at a stage where the market's actually going down, and we we, we, we can't accept it. We think no, it's got to be having another hit. It can't be this low. We just don't know, and I think it's just really important just to keep aware of the timing within that for your cycle. Look at sort of uh, you know various charts just to get indication of you know, how hot is the market. Sentiment. I'm, I, I get a lot of sentiment, and I, and that's probably a slight danger because we're an emotional being, and markets um, reflect emotions. We, we know in investing it's important to not let your emotions control your investing decisions. But when I say I'm, I, I listen to a lot of sentiment, I'm, I'm very clear in my mind and my emotions, but I'm observing sentiment amongst the YouTubers, amongst the noise, amongst the press and just very much listening and that tends to reflect well it does when we know you know look at the charts the charts reflect human nature so i'm not surprised that said you know that my instincts and my sentiment tends to reflect what we see on the charts but anyway um so really just saying it's exciting times you know we've got the halving coming up it's like we're not even there yet and we've already reached all-time highs so you know it's you know keep you know just keep settled don't get too crazy you know it's weird. um and have patience we're, we're not really 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 at the bull market i know we are but we haven't hit the halving period yet so just very early guys if you're watching this video now you you are so early you're very very fortunate very fortunate so um yeah take this opportunity because when the harvey comes prices get up without a doubt you know whether whether it's straight away or whether it's after a week or two weeks or a few months you know it's there's absolutely no doubt about it so enjoy it um and that's it really now just a quick update sats wise i did my one dollar day challenge and uh yeah it's my way to hopefully document this uh this journey i'm on document this sort of little game I'm doing um, for the next nine, ten years to 2033, 2034, around about that time. 
um, peak of that next cycle, which will be um, well, two cycles ahead, which will be 2032, which will be that halving. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see where we're at, how many sats I'll be able to get with $1. So today I got it, it was 1,736 sats I managed to get. And um, I think in the future, we're gonna be talking about sats a lot more than we are now, because Bitcoin's gonna be so rare and so scarce. So yeah, that's how many sats. Join me, you know, hope, you know, I really want you to join me, try and do it yourself. You know, hopefully everybody can afford a dollar a day. You know, it's not gonna break the bank, hopefully. Um, you know, unfortunately, I'm sure there's people out there where they can't afford a dollar, but if you can, then I would highly encourage you to do that. Um, obviously, this is not financial advice, it's just a little game and some guy on the internet um, just having a chat and, uh, you know, sharing sharing the journey. So if you are doing it, you know, let me know. Put something in the comments, say, yeah, I've decided to do it, that's brilliant. Um, I had somebody yesterday um, asking about different exchanges, do they allow sort of just reoccurring buys? which would make their life easier rather than having to do it every single day. For me, I like to do it every single day because it's an action that I have to physically take and be conscious of. And it helps, I guess, also do these videos because I go, okay, well now I can share with, with you guys how many sats I got for the dollar. Um, but for most of you, you know, if you can probably set up a reoccurring buy order, you just, it just, it will just work in your sleep. You'd have to worry about it. So I get that. Um, most of the exchanges will do it. Um, some may have a minimum amount. I got a funny feeling Coinbase, maybe you can't do a dollar. I think it has to be two, maybe. I'm, I can't remember off the top. Have a look. Kraken does it. Uh, you have to check with Binance. Um, all the usual suspects. So um, yeah, that's it, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Give us a like. Subscribe to the video. And uh, Moj to Rodney, as they say, down in uh, Del Boy country. And um, we'll catch up with you guys soon. Take care.